preganglionic neurons of the sympathetic division are found in spinal segment T1 to spinal segment L2. So you find the preganglionic neurons in the spinal cord from T1 to L2. What happens is that the preganglionic neuron will exit from the ventral branch or the ventral ramus of the spinal nerve and then enter a chain of ganglia. This right, right over here, this pink structure here and right over here and right over here, these represent ganglia. So these are locations where you find the concentration of the cell bodies of neurons. These preganglionic neurons enter this chain of ganglia, and this chain of ganglia is referred to as the sympathetic chain ganglia. Where the preganglionic neurons enter, all the fibers of those neurons are myelinated, and because of the myelination, the connecting branch appears white. And this branch is called the white ramus because of its myelination and its white appearance. As preganglionic neurons enter along this white communicating branch, it's going to go along the sympathetic chain. That's one thing that can happen. It can go up and down the sympathetic chain and synapse with postganglionic neurons, which are go then going to exit by way of another communicating branch, which you see right over here. And this communicating branch is going to contain the postganglionic neurons, which are gray in color because they're unmyelinated. So we have a communicating branch, which is going to be white, and a communicating branch which is going to be gray. And together they form the communicating branches, which are referred to as the rami communicantes. And you're only going to see both branches associated with spinal nerves T1 to L2 because these are the spinal nerves from which the preganglionic neurons are originating.